So uh, we, we've seen a good amount of uh, snow around here, you know, a lot of that rock salt on the ground in some spots, uh, so that's an issue. But uh, oh, one thing that's interesting is to see just how much snow they've gotten up north. And in fact, they've gotten a lot of snow up in the presidential range, uh, the mountain range up towards uh, northern uh, New Hampshire. And take a look at this. This is something you don't see too often, I suppose. Uh, an avalanche warning for the Mount Washington area, the presidential range up there looking at the possibility for some sliding snow. So uh, that avalanche warning in effect uh, through t uh, this morning. So. Yeah, something to keep in mind up there, but you know, hopefully uh, no one from Connecticut will be heading up there anytime soon because they've got a lot of snow on the ground. Now for us, we have a bit of snow on the ground as well, upwards of a foot plus across a good chunk of the state. But this morning, we're seeing an additional coating to even upwards of a half an inch in some spots with these snow showers. There's one particular snow shower moving right across Hamden now uh, that's uh, bringing some briefly moderate snow. Yeah, look at that. We'll actually, uh, let me pause it for you and we'll show you uh, some of the neighborhoods getting some of the heaviest stuff right now. Now, not too far from Mount Carmel right now, a little bit south of that, uh, over towards uh, the Route 10 area as you go towards like Shepherd Avenue, uh, Evergreen, Sherman, some of those uh, uh, roads and uh, areas looking pretty uh, snowy this morning. So that snow flying across the area. Overall, just a couple of snow showers will continue as we go on through the rest of the day. But just watch for some slick spots out there this morning. Temperatures are all below freezing across the state. And later on today, we'll get into the mid 30s with uh, at least a little sun possible at times. Overall, just a lot of cloud cover. Uh, the map in motion just kind of shows the gray skies during much of the day today. There is that chance for the scattered snow showers, not only this morning, obviously, as we already are seeing them, but later on today, there could be a few more flurries and snow showers. And then for Friday, after a quiet day on Thursday, Friday we see the chance for a little bit of wintry mix in some of the hills, but then it's just a change over to rain. Temperatures will bump up into the 40s, and we'll have some rain on top of this uh, snowpack that we have, so it'll likely compress that snowpack a bit. I don't think we're going to be dealing with any flooding issues, but still, there could be some poor drainage flooding, especially with a lot of uh, uh, drains that are kind of clogged. The storm drains still clogged by a lot of the snow. So just something to keep in mind if you do have any uh, storm drains nearby, maybe you can kind of clear them uh, in the next couple of days to allow for uh, some better drainage out there. Then for Sunday, we've been watching a storm system, but at this point it looks like it'll stay pretty far to our south. Some computer models still edging it near us. Uh, the one I just showed you was a little bit farther away, but uh, we could get brushed by some snow. We'll say watching that storm for Sunday, but at this point I don't think we're getting a, a big blockbuster storm or anything like that. No big nor'easters for uh, Sunday, most likely. Then by Tuesday we'll watch another chance for a couple of scattered snow showers, maybe a bit of snow to deal with for Tuesday but overall some colder weather taking hold for next week. So temperatures kind of bump up a little bit and then really cool off for the middle of next week. We'll be